The StimPod 450X is a nerve stimulator that is quantitative for train of four. To turn it on, I simply press the on off button and it remembers the last milliamps that I have and it defaults to train of four. So if I simply wanted to connect my patient and my accelerometer, I would then be ready to do a train of four. There it shows that I, my four bar graphs, and it shows that I had 112%, so I do not have any paralytic on board. The way the StimPod works is basically it uses an accelerometer, a three-dimensional accelerometer. This accelerometer can be placed on the side of the thumb, the back of the thumb, or the front of the thumb. The key is you don't want to place it all the way down in the base of the thumb, so it needs to have movement to be able to be registered. Uh, you use standard electrodes uh, for accelerometry, uh, and you have a, a bunch of options, but train of four is what almost everyone uses. So I do have the ability to do double burst. I can press menu and do post tectonic count. I can do SMC, which is super maximal current. I can do SMC auto, which is super maximal current, and then automatically repeats the timer. And then I can do twitch, tetanus, 50 or 100 hertz. I can then go back to train of four. But whenever you power it on, it remembers the last feature you had. So we've just showed you train of four. I'm going to show you what I call one button nerve monitoring. Uh, I'm going to go to SMC Auto and I'm going to say yes. Now what it's going to do is it's going to calculate the appropriate milliamps for my placement of the electrodes and my skin type, etc. So I'm going to press enter and you're going to see it go up from 5, 10, 15, 20, all the way up to 80 milliamps. And you see the bar graph. And what it's looking for is what milliamps do I increase it where I don't get any additional thumb movement. So in other words, there's no more benefit for increasing the milliamps. So in this case, it found that my electrode placement is uh, ideal for 40 milliamps. It's now going to take a, a train of four in about five seconds now uh, at 40 milliamps. And you'll see whether I have a paralytic on board or not. So it shows the four bar graphs of the movement of my thumb, and I have 120%, which means I do not have any paralytic on board. Uh, you might notice that it shows 40 milliamps was dialed in uh, and I delivered 40.13 milliamps. Uh, you also might notice there's a clock there. I have this repeat timer set at five minutes. So it's basically going to do a train of four every five minutes. So in essence, with SMC Auto, I'm able to say go. It automatically calculates to the appropriate milliamps and then it uh, repeats the train of four every five minutes on an ongoing basis. So I can chart every 15 minutes if I desire. Uh, if I want to interrupt that four minutes and 23 seconds and just go back to manual mode, I just press the stimulate button and hold it down for a couple seconds. And then I would go back to my menu key and I would go to train of four. And now I'd be back to the manual mode. Now I can also set this in repeat. So I could press the stimulate bu button and I could hold it down for a full second And now it's put that also in a timer mode. So now that's in a traditional repeat mode where every five minutes it's going to give me train of four. So I have the ability of using SMC auto, which is kind of like one uh, touch monitoring, or I can just turn on the monitor, have it remember the last, four, uh, the last setting, and I can press start, or I can press start and hold the stimulate button for a second and a half, and it brings up that repeat timer. So once again, when I turn it off, uh, it will remember the milliamps of 40 milliamps and it will remember that I'm in train of four mode. As I turn it back on, uh, the device will, uh, there it is, train of four and 40 milliamps. The device will automatically shut down after 10 minutes of not operation to save the batteries. Um, so that is the accelerometer, uh, and it can be positioned uh, in any way as long as you don't put it all the way down to the base. Uh, any uh, electrodes can be used and that's called accelerometry. We have another option where you can choose a different cable and then you're able to use EMG. This is the EMG sensor that would be connected also just like this. So EMG is for when you have your arms tucked so tight that you cannot use or the thumb. So with accelerometry you can use the thumb or the tibial nerve such as the big toe or we have EMG capability. We're the only device that gives you a choice between uh, accelerometry or EMG and we're the only device that does both with quantitative train of form monitoring. Thank you and please call Bell Medical for more information on the Zavant 450X nerve stimulator.